Hi, good morning. This is Shilpa. Welcome to Shilpa Italian Line Class. Today, I am going to explain the creation of TCS. TCS in the sense, tax collected at source. Tax collected at source means whatever the natural resources are there, no? The government is collecting taxes from us, like timber, gold, bullion, jewelry, parking lots, tall plaza, pendulums. Based on all the whatever the natural resources are there, no? The government is collecting taxes from us. So first I am going to explain how to calculate the TCS. So here already created one company, RR company, activation steps. We have to go to the Alt key. Then we can go to F11 futures, enter. Here you can take enable GSTS because I am doing TCS as well as GST. Both I am merging and doing. So we have to give the GST TIN number. Then save it. Now tax collected at source, yes. Now you can give the TAN number and save it. Control A. So it will accept. Now we have to create the options. Means on what option I am going to create. So on our about option means I am going to create the option is timber obtained under forest lease. Timber obtained under forest lease. So it is already there you just go and see see here tcs nature of goods here timber obtained under forest lease section 206 cash or check means timber we are paying through check or cash rate is 2.8 then save it now we have to create the ledges before ledger we have to create one stock item timber so timber which is comes under wood then which is to be measured in square feet means timber is to be measured in square feet then we have to pass the Applicable, yes, here on value 18%. Now, we have to create the ledges. Timber sales. Under sales accounts, applicable, yes. Here, sales taxable 18%. Then, we have to activate on what option? Timber obtained under forest lease. Next, RR on timber account. Otherwise, you can take GG on timber account, sundry creditors, here company or resident, PAN number, PIN number, you have to give, next, timber TCS account, under duties and tax, timber obtained under forest lease, next, we have to take it as CGST at 9% on timber, under duties and taxes, central tax, 9%, normal rounding, 1%, so we have to select the option timber obtained under forest lease same type we have to give sgst on timber duties and taxes state normal rounding one now we have to pass the sales voucher all the registered we have to take it as sales so here you can take the parties gg on timber account here timber sales here you can take it as sales taxable. Now we have to take it as timber. Here CGST at 9% on timber. SGST at 9% on timber. Timber TCS. Okay. So I created all the options. Now we have to pass the receipt vouchers. So you can take TDS, TCS, we are paying through cash or check, so you can take it as R TDS, TCS on timber account. Timber sales, RR on TCS account. First you can pay the tax amount then you can go for next one cgst sgst on timber account 2250 sgst cgst 2250 then we have to give the receipt cash gg on timber account so what is the amount 29626 including tax now you want to see the display statutory reports 
GST reports R1. So R1, it is sitting in the mismatch, uncertain transaction. You just go and activate. So here you can give Alt V so that accept GST TIN number. Yes. So if it is accepted, okay. Otherwise you can re-enter the TIN number so that it will come off. A1 Z6. So it will come off. Now see you will find the display 25,000 on that tax is 2250 for CGST and 2250 for SGST. You want to see in the TCS reports. So you can go to TCS reports. TCS outstanding. We are not yet paid. We are yet to pay. That's why it is showing outstanding. 126 is the outstanding amount. So in this way we can calculate the TCS with GST. So if you like this video please like it share it and subscribe it and please press the bell button icon so that upcoming videos you will get the notification. Thank you.